Hi sisters. sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see today I'm joined with a very, very special guest, a collab that you guys have been asking for and I have wanted to do for months now. Why are you hyping me up like this? Because you have the body here! Welcome sister! Hi! I am so excited you guys, Avani and I have wanted to collab for a very, very long time now, but we wanted to wait until spooky season because we are going to be doing something so fun today. If you guys do not know who Avani is, she is a world famous TikTok legend known for being cute, being fashionable, being a great dancer, but most importantly, being a really, really talented makeup artist. Thank and you got really famous for doing- Clown makeup. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with everything going on in the world right now, it's not as easy to go out and be as festive as normal. No. So like doing fun makeup tutorials at home, I feel like it's a really cute way to still get in the Halloween spirit. Yes. So if you guys want to join Avani and I together today as we create a very spooky clown makeup tutorial together, keep on watching. One thing that I'm really excited about, a lot of collabs, I'm doing the other person's makeup. Obviously, you're an insanely talented makeup artist, so today we're gonna be getting ready together. But one thing that I love about your clown looks, especially on your TikTok, is that they usually have like a full-on backstory to them. Is there a reason why when you do these looks that you give them a backstory instead of just like doing it? Uh, yeah, well, the whole reason of me doing makeup in general is because there's a backstory. Instead of speaking how I feel, I put it on my face so people have to figure it out. <gasps> Do you know what kind of look that you want to create today? I think I have something in mind. Usually, I just go off of, like, as I'm going with it, I'll just keep adding stuff to make it, like, okay. go with a backstory or something okay. like that. So I don't really have, like, a specific one in plan. Okay. That. I think I have a relative idea. I think I need to do, like, a very James Charles possessed... Clown. Like if I just like got fired from being a YouTuber tomorrow and like had to go to the circus, but like was so mad about it, like what would it look like? I feel like I have, I feel like I have a good idea. Well, should we go ahead and get started? Yes. <gasps> okay. Pre period. Period. Period has his base, bro. Well, you strike me as one of those girls that does your makeup really fast. Like I don't know why, but just from watching your videos, I get that vibe. Am yeah, I right? Yeah, I do, do it really fast. Yeah, just trying to be like a good host. You know, I will try and do it in slow motion. You want to know something? Yes. Someone, in, someone stole my James Charles palette. <gasps> <gasps> Who could it be? <laughs> I don't know. Was it Anthony? Probably. <laughs> We'll get you a new one. Okay, well, Avani, while we're getting ready, I have so many fun things that I want to talk to you about. One of them being the first time that we met because I will always remember it. Um, <laughs> what do you remember from the first time that we met? I think it was, oh, was it? It was at the old Hype House. Yes. And I was running downstairs and I don't know, I don't know when you came out. I don't remember like exactly when you came in. I just remember seeing you mm -hmm. and you were filming a TikTok mm -hmm. with someone in like the living room part. Yes. And then, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a TikTok and then I put up my camera and I just remember you jumping in and filming the what was it, what was it renegade? Oh, it was renegade with me. <laughs> oh no, probably. And it just being you and me filming the renegade like six times. And I remember I was trying to learn some of the dances and you and Addison were teaching me. Oh yeah, that that was after we filmed our one. Yeah. And then you're like, I wanna learn this one. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me, because I'm the worst dancer as you guys all know. I want to know, like, how did you get started on TikTok in the first place for the people that may not know the journey? I... Oh, how did I even start? I got started, like, six years ago. What? I was on Musical.ly. Oh, And, like, okay. I did sign language on Musical.ly. It was sign really language. weird. I did a bunch... I had a bunch of different stages of... My time. Wait, let me grab this. Are you like fluent in ASL? Not really. I used to be. Okay. And then I took a few classes for school. That's so cool. And then I stopped doing it after a while because uh, people were being too critical how I was signing and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna deal with any of this. I'm gonna just act like I never did sign language. That's so annoying. Wait, I didn't even know that. That's what, I mean, that's where I started to slowly blow up. On Musical.ly. TikTok became a thing and it was like all comedy videos. So I was really? like, well, I don't do funny videos. Right. So I don't know what to do. And then I started to get into it where I was literally just like doing random, the most random things ever. And then that blew up. And then I got into makeup and then that blew up. And there was just like different stages and I had like different audiences. Throughout so you've been great at navigating through like a bunch of different trends and different. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't even, I didn't know any of that. Have you always been like really into makeup and stuff? Uh, yeah, I was into makeup since I was like 11. Okay. I wanna say I brought it to TikTok during Halloween time. Because, That's how I got started. Yeah, because I was like, wait, because I, I saw a few people post like crazy makeup, not just regular makeup, like crazy makeup. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, wait a minute, I do this stuff. 
And I was really bad at first. Like I was not good at all. So then everyone started getting in like acting on there. So then I was like, okay, well I'm gonna like full on bring the Halloween makeup. I posted one clown video as a joke because like my friend said not to use the audio, the clown check audio. Clown check. They're like don't oh, use this, I hate yeah, this audio. Yeah. I remember that. They're like, please don't use this audio. And so then I did and I posted like 3 a.m. and then the next morning it had like two million likes and oh, then like wow. it was a trend for me to post a bunch of clown makeup and then I was known as clown girl. Do you like that? I'm fine with it. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to clarify to make sure. It's in, a, it's in a good way. You just had 27 million followers recently which is incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. And you're obviously one of the biggest people on TikTok which is also amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> but you're still in school. Yes. School's hard online because I don't have teacher help yeah. at all. But like, I'm still motivated to do my school and to finish it and at least graduate high school because I can always go back to college if I need it. It is hard with everything that I'm doing right now. To, I can't imagine. To still focus on doing school and filming all my makeup stuff and doing all these meetings and stuff like that, so. I have so much respect for everybody that's like doing online school right now, especially during COVID. Since you are a senior and getting ready to graduate, is college something that you're still looking into or are you gonna be focusing on everything else? I think I'm going to be not going straight into college. I think I'm gonna take a little break from school and see how much I can get done without it because I know I can always go back to college as an option, but like right now with all these opportunities, I don't wanna miss them. Right. I'll never get them back, so. How was that conversation with your parents? Cause I know that you did really well in school. Yeah, my mom at first was like, you're finishing all your school and your college and then you can pursue uh, social media. Oh geez. And then it started to get where I was literally doing so well on social media to where she was like, once you're done with high school, you can hold off on right. college. She's like, it's gonna be way too much work to right. try and keep up with all this. How was the conversation with them to get them to move literally across the world? So it started out or with Or not the me. world, the country. That yeah, was dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> it started out with, cause I would fly out every week. I would have like a premiere to go to or like this I have to go film and stuff. And they're just like, well, we don't want you to miss the opportunity. Right. So we're gonna fly you down there. And I just kept flying down there. And then at one point out, they were like, okay, you're gonna literally stay here for a month and you're gonna stay with Amelie. So like, they let me stay at Amelie's house. And then they were like, okay, you know what? Like, we can't have you be out there by yourself all the time. Like, we want to move down with you. So, oh, so they started the conversation. Yeah, they were like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, so they were like, um, we'll move me and my mom down there. So we got in our, ourselves an apartment. My uh, little sister was having some troubles not like having my mom with her, which understandable. Right. On so many levels. So then we moved my little sister out there with us. And so it was my dad and my older sister back in Indiana. Mm -hmm. And then my dad decided to move here. So then we found a house finally. Oh, and good for you guys. We just like moved in a couple months ago. That's so exciting to hear that your parents are so support, like not only supportive, but like on the journey with you. Yeah, no. Like my parents were super supportive and mine still live in New York just because my brother is living in New York City. Yeah. Which is understandable, but I like, oh, I wish more than anything that my full family was like living out yeah, here. Yeah, it's really nice. What are you doing with yours right now? Walk us through. Okay, I finished the flames on top of my eyelids. And now I'm adding the little point so it looks, it goes more towards a clown look because it kind of just looked like my eyeballs were on fire. So I add, I'm gonna add the little points and then I literally just have my nose in my mouth to do and I'll be done. <sighs> How are you, I don't understand, it. okay. <laughs> You work so fast. Avani, one thing that I really want to ask you about, obviously right now you're in a sister's hoodie, which is super cute and available now at sisters.apparel.com, but normally you have some very, very fire fits. Mm -hmm. Have you always been like super, super into fashion? Where did that come from? Um, Talk to me about this. Okay, so it started with like me being in like eighth grade or whatever. I used to wear all black. Everyone was dressing the same at my schools and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to change it up a bit right. and start wearing what like I think is good and that I like. And if my mom approves it. <laughs> she was all here for me to try new styles and stuff like that. So then I started going thrifting and I started just wearing anything that I wanted to school. I would go to school in heels sometimes. It was just how I was. Um, and like big fluffy jackets and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. I delete, I archived all my old posts, but I would post an Instagram picture every day of my outfit. Really? Because I, oh. I have not repeated an outfit for three years now. <gasps> I've worn the same shirt and like the same pants before, but not all together. Same. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with fashion. Now, when you first met Anthony, mm -hmm. or we haven't even, I haven't even asked you about Anthony. Well, you guys all know who Anthony is. If you don't, Bonnie's boyfriend, mm -hmm. literally one of the cutest relationships online, I feel like. And one of the least problematic relationships too, can mm -hmm. I add? <laughs> How, when you first met Anthony, was he very fashionable too? Or like, did you have a major impact on his style? No, he was 
all into fashion since I like I met him I want to say it was like three years ago maybe two but it was because we both were like into fashion we both saw each other's Instagrams and we we're like what the heck but then I don't know you guys are, wait so you guys are talking for three years now we're like we were friends on and off dude because we were never gonna we were like we're never gonna meet each other right and then we met last year at like one of the social media events I th actually, no, we met before, well, he said we met before that, but he said I also ignored him. <gasps> at, the, <laughs> at the meet, Period. he would come down to LA, he started to come down to LA, and I was hanging out with the people that he would stay with. Mm -hmm. And then we just, I don't know, we finally just said something to each other, but we have so much in common with fashion. And Avani, one thing that I really want to ask you about, obviously we're sitting here doing like crazy cloud makeup right now, mm -hmm. but you were also, obviously, no surprise, insanely talented at doing, you know, beautiful everyday glam too. Is that something that you like want to do more videos about on your channel and like show more of? Yeah, I, when I started makeup, I started with crazy makeup. Like I, I'd never started with normal makeup. Same. I just went straight to putting paint on my face. I started seeing like you, you were posting a bunch of like tutorials mm -hmm. on how to do normal makeup. And so I was like, wait, like I want to try and do my makeup normal. Right. And like, cause I never knew how to do it. I like still to this day. I'm still trying to learn how to do my makeup normally. I got my makeup done a couple of times. Uh, like Patrick, oh, he, love like, Patrick he so like much. literally taught me a lot with like how to do my makeup normally. So like I hope, hopefully I can get to the point where I'm confident enough to like teach others. Oh, I have a fun question for you. What is it? This is a big assumption, but I hope I'm right. If you're doing all these spooky makeup looks, I'm hoping that you like horror movies. I do indeed. Okay, what are your favorites? Let's talk about it. I like the the ones based off of the true stories, so like the Conjuring ones mm -hmm. and Insidious. And then I like um, the Saw movies. Love the Saw movies. I was just watching it a few weeks ago. Oh, I movie. love horror movies. They're my absolute favorite. What are your favorite? I'd say my favorite has got to be Sinister, just because oh, good, yeah, the plot is just so is cool. Um, and like the twist at the end really just got me good. I really like a lot of thriller horror movies too. Like Your Next is one of my all time favorites. Mm -hmm. I love, love that movie. As we're nearing the end of our makeup looks, I recently read in an interview that you're working on your own makeup line. Mm-hmm. It's whatever. Without revealing any confidential information, give us some tea. Um, there, there, there's something there. <laughs> Is that all you're gonna tell me? You suck. <laughs> That's all you get. Do you want to give any <laughs> details, any fun facts? Fun fact. Any behind the scenes information? Not for sure yet if I can fully give out that information. Huh. But it's hmm. gonna be amazing. Oh ah, yeah. And it's my vibe. Describe the vibe to us. <laughs> I love that product, that sounds like a good one. I can't wait to use that in my collection. Yes, give us nothing. <laughs> okay, you guys, Avani and I have been doing our looks for a few hours now and they're both looking so, so, good. so, so cool. Good. We have a few steps left to finalize this look, so we're gonna cut quickly and we'll be right back to show you guys our scary clouds. Scary clown looks. <laughs> I love it. I, oh my God, I am literally obsessed with how this turned out. I was so, so nervous going into this because you're obviously the queen of doing this. So I had no idea what I wanted my concept to, what I thought it was gonna look like, but I love how it turned out. Yeah, you did so good. Dude, yours looks so sick too. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> well, Avani, thank you so much for joining me here on my channel for Sister Spooky Month. I love you literally you so, so, me. so much. You've inspired me and so many other people literally all around the world. And it's just so cool to see how far you've grown in the past couple months as well. I'm so proud of you. Thank and cannot wait to see what the heck you do next. Thank you. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and share your love and support. Also click that bigger subscribe button to come join the sisterhood. And finally click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media accounts will be linked right here around the screen. And if you want to text me on my personal phone number for updates on videos, photos, merch, and so much more, it is 310-905-8746. If you guys want to check out Avani, which if you have not already followed her, okay, what are you doing? You absolutely 
absolutely should. Mm -hmm. Where can they find you? Uh, at Avani on Instagram, at Avani on TikTok, at Avani on YouTube, and Period. at Avani on everything, basically, except Snapchat, <laughs> but I don't use it, so. This video is sister shout out goes to sister Ellie. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links so they go live on Twitter. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this spooky video today. I love you so much. Happy Halloween, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!